guys, and welcome back to We Are Androgyny. Okay, so this week's topic on We Are Androgyny is going to be... Time! Yes, I'm super excited for this topic. It kind of came to me like the last minute and I was like, girl, we should talk about prom. So yeah, we're going to talk about prom this week and I'm excited because it's going to be like... Um, each person is going to give their personal opinion and experiences and or experiences at prom and, you know, tips and tricks or whatever you want to call it. <laughs> so it's just based on prom this week, just because that's what's trending and that's what everybody's talking about and I'm super excited to talk about this actually. Okay, so where to start? So my video is going to consist of me talking a little bit about my prom and I'm also going to give you my top five do's and don'ts for prom. This is going to be another video about Diamond Life Lessons. So get your paper out, get your pen out, pay attention, girl. Oh, God. Okay, let me scratch that. I'm going to do five do's and five don'ts, just because, yeah. My first do is go to prom. <laughs> like, don't be afraid if you don't get asked to prom. Like, just go. Do it. My senior year, I actually went with a group of friends. I technically had, like, five dates that night. But, yeah, I mean, go to prom. It's... These are memories in high school, like these are things you'll never get back. Like I regret not doing a whole bunch of stuff in high school just because I did a lot and then I was like, no, I'm not gonna do that because I might fail or I'm not gonna do that because, you know, whatever. I'm nervous or I don't wanna be around these people or whatever. But just go, have fun, don't give two fucks. Like seriously, it's fucking prom. You only get one or two of these depending on, you know, how, how popular you were. But, um, you know, you actually get two proms. Your junior year, you get a prom, which you kind of throw, but you get to go. And then senior year is like a prom thrown for you. FYI, minds fucking suck. The underclassmen who threw our prom were little shits. Moving on. So, next do, my next do is make sure you surround yourself with people who actually do want to have fun. Like, don't just go with the girl in the corner just because you don't want to be alone, you know? Go with your friends. Go, I mean, even if your friends are going with dates and you're the only one with, without a date, I mean, go ahead and go. Like, seriously, go. Have fun. I mean, your friends could be with their dates, but you know, you could grab your friend, get up on the dance floor, have some fun, you know, do whatever. I mean, like I said, make memories, because this night is one of the few nights <coughs> you can ever get back. You know, at my prom, once you're 21, you're not allowed to come back. Like, you're not allowed to be somebody's date. So, you know, for us, we have like one or two years after graduation to go back to our prom. But yeah, have fun. Bring people that you want to have fun with. Bring people you know you're going to have fun with. Don't bring random ass fucking people. Okay. Number three, make sure you plan ahead. Plan, plan ahead. Like prom is always around the general area. You know, April to May, that's prom. Make sure you know what you're going to wear. You know, make sure you plan ahead. Make sure you know what type of hair you want. You know, how your makeup's going to be. Don't be one of those annoying bitches that's like last minute and just going crazy and like, oh my god, blah, 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 blah. Like seriously, start planning early. Make sure you get everything you need. Make sure it's an, like I say, like I said again, make sure it's an amazing night. Make sure you take away all the stops so it won't be an amazing night, you know? Number four, dress up, okay? And by dress up, this kind of goes teeter-tottering back and forth. Like if you're going to dress up, make sure you ain't looking too crazy where you're uncomfortable and like, you know, not going to dance. Like, you know... Don't hoochie it up. Like, don't get too slutty with it where it's, like, short skirts and whatever, you know. Just all kinds of ugly boo-boo. All kinds of ugly honey boo-boo. Sit down. Um, make sure, I mean, if you're a girl, make sure you're wearing something cute. Make sure, I mean, eleganza. Glam it up. Have so much fun. Wherever, wear whatever the fuck you want. Make it a Cinderella type event. Like, seriously, you're not going to have one of these until maybe your wedding again. You know, I would personally wear a wedding dress if I could go back to my damn prom. I redo that all over again. Okay, I would wear a fucking wedding dress. I would be so done up. I would be Cinderella. Ella, Ella, A. Okay. But yeah, make sure you dress up. Look cute, but make sure it's comfortable and reasonable. Okay, I'll get to the rest of that in my don'ts. And my last do is step out of your comfort zone. Make sure you do this. Like, this is something I tell to everybody. Like, get out of your comfort zone. This is what I push for a lot of my friends and a lot of people I talk to is getting out of their comfort zone because that comfort zone is only going to keep you in this little box, you know? Just get out of that. Get out of that front. Do whatever. I mean, if tonight's the night you want to go talk to the guy who's who you thought was cute all year or that you've been crushing on, go talk to him, you know? If tonight's the night you want to make out with whoever, go make out with them, you know? No fucking regrets. Like, this is the one night where you can fuck up. Like... Go have fun, you know? Do what makes you happy. Do everything you've always wanted to do tonight. Make sure you keep it classy. Make sure you keep it cute, okay? Now my don'ts. 
So my first don't is don't wear heels that you cannot walk in because you're gonna look fucking stupid. I know a couple of my friends did that freshman year. Well, I did that my senior year. This bitch wore this baby stiletto where it just looked frumpy as fuck and she kept teetering tottering over and it was like, no girl, bitch, sit down, go home. Wear more of a chunky heel or, you know, they have thicker high heels. I have one, I don't wanna get it because it's like hung up. But wear more of a chunky heel, something cute, something you can walk around in, something comfortable. Or wear a kitten heel or wear flats. You know, shoes are a big thing for me. So, you know, I always wonder why girls would wear flats though over like high heels. I mean, even a kitten heel, anybody can walk in a fucking kitten heel. To do is make sure if you're gonna party or drink tonight, make sure that it's with people you can trust, people who you know, people who you know will take care of you, okay? Make sure it's people you can feel safe around getting drunk, getting fucked up, you know, because that's pretty much what everybody's gonna do. So just make sure you're safe, okay? That's muy importante. And my next don't is, don't feel pressured into drinking alcohol, don't feel pressured into doing drugs. You know, if that's not what you're doing, don't do it tonight. You know, I said let loose, but when it comes to stuff like that, don't let peer pressure push you into something that you're not about, you know? Just because tonight's the night to let go, doesn't mean you gotta get crazy and throw it in jail and or die and or kill somebody else, you know? Just don't feel pressured into doing anything you don't wanna do. Nextly is, kind of leading off the next topic, and that's don't feel pressured into having sex because you know, that's one of the biggest things ever and I know whoever, what, and I know if guys are watching this, they're kind of like, shut the fuck up Tay, you know, let me get it in. But no, tonight should not be the night. I mean, do you want, do you really want your virginity to be lost in this type of cliche? Like, when I lost my virginity, it was somewhat of a cliche, but it was very, like, 90s romantic comedy type of way. Because I lost my virginity on a football field um, after the team won the homecoming game, and it was like a blanket and just this, like, moonlit night together. So that's how I lost mine. So, you know, it's a little bit different. It wasn't really that much of a cliche. But, you know, don't be part of the cliche of people losing their virginities on prom night like that just sounds horrid and absolutely just atrocious I would, I would never next don't is don't do your own makeup if you don't know how to do makeup don't do your own makeup if you don't know how to do hair don't do your own hair pay for that shit make sure it's cute and make sure you're, you're coordinating yourself with your date if possible you know and another don't is this is gonna add to it for the guys don't be wearing those loud up ugly colors okay so i don't know if have time for that wear something neutral to compliment your girl like guys really should not be out shining the girls at prom like for real boo boo sit down and my last don't is don't feel bad if you don't win prom queen you know um i've obviously got a crowd on today this is not for my prom but um yeah, I know a lot of people were bummed that they didn't win prom queen or prom king, and it's like, this is just, getting prom queen's not gonna get you anywhere. Like, you know, um, getting prom queen's not gonna get you a better job, it's not gonna get you into a better school, it's really nothing, it's more of just this little statement for the last month of the year, you know, or in my case, it was like the last week to be like prom queen, and it really, really doesn't matter, you know? I was prom, uh, but you know, at my prom, my best friend won um, prom queen, and I got to wear the crown and sash that night, so I technically won, you know, I was prom queen at my high school, but uh, yeah, those are my do's and don'ts for prom, and I just hope that everybody has a wonderful prom season, I might do a prom look on my personal channel, so look out for that, but yeah, this face can be short and simple, I don't know what I'm gonna address, just because not everybody's been posting, and it's kind of like, you know, whatever but um yeah that's pretty much it for my video this week i'm gonna edit this and put this up now and there's nothing new i'm gonna be posting on my channel soon so just go check that out but yeah i love you all on the channel and again we're still looking for people to fill spots on the channel so if you haven't already please audition um the first weekend so actually next week saturday will be the deadline for you to audition for the channel so please message me asap i do want to see new people and i do want to see enthusiastic people come so please if you know somebody who you think is going to be perfect for the channel just make sure you send them toward me and just get the audition process started and i think that's pretty much it and yeah all in all thanks loves and have a what a safe prom season you know wear condoms have safe sex that should be one of my don'ts one of my dudes but you know you should be smart enough by now it's really fucking important so put a damn condom on and stop being a dumb little fuck. Oh no, thanks loves, bye.